children, hello children, how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? Hello, my beautiful children. How are you today? I hope you're feeling happy and excited because today is a very special read aloud entitled, Don't Start Reading for the Record. All types of children around the world are going to be reading this very same book today. And the book is entitled, Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. Have you ever had a time where you moved away? What types of things did you remember about your old house? Do you remember what you have to do in order to move? Well, I'm looking at the title and I'm looking at the cover of this, the book and I'm noticing that there are lots of big brown boxes. We usually need cardboard boxes when we're packing things up and moving away. And I also see a moving truck and there are two girls and these girls are very, very best friends. So what they miss most of all is going to be each other. The Arthur, is Meg Medina and the illustrator is Sonia Sanchez. Happy Read for the Record Day. You are one of millions around the world who are taking the time to read Evelyn Dale Ray is Moving Away by Meg Medina today to raise awareness about the critical importance of early literacy and access to high quality books. We are so excited to celebrate with you. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. Evelyn Del Rey is mi amor amiga, my numero uno best friend. Come play, Daniela, she says, like she always does. Just like today is any other day. So I bundle up and cross the street. A big truck with its mouth wide open is parked at the curb. Ready to gobble up Evelyn's mirror with stickers around the edges, her easel for painting on rainy days, and the sofa that we bounce on to get to the moon. She is waiting for me inside the iron doors. Then we climb the steps two at a time, just like we always do. We sneak past grouchy Mr. Miller's door and wave to Mr. Soto's who's feeding the pigeons from the hall window. Shinora Flores gives us each a cookie and says, it's the big day when we walk by. Our apartments are almost twins, just like us. That's why I already knew all the good places for hide and seek and the spot behind the heater where we keep our special finds. But the walls in Evelyn's room are sunny yellow, while mine are pink, like cotton candy. And I live with my mama and a hamster, and she lives with her mama, papa, and a cat. We find a still empty box near the door. In no time, I am the bus driver steering all over the city. We play until the tables that were bus stops are gone, and the beds that were skyscrapers have vanished too. When we look around, everything has disappeared except us. Soon the truck outside rumbles off and there is a knock on the door. Hide, <laughs> we said giggling, just like we always do. But our mothers see us before we can slip away. Time to go, Mama says. Evelyn and I hold hands in that wide, empty space. We lean back and start to spin in circles, faster and faster until everything is a blur around us. Our fingers slip, but we don't let go until we wobble to the floor. We can talk every day after school, I tell her, though the world is still whirling. You can visit me this summer, she says, and spend the night. But I know that tomorrow, everything will be different. Evelyn will be in a new home that doesn't match mine. 
Before we left, I spot something in the corner, left behind in the dust. It's the last of Evelyn's sparkly stickers. We go downstairs and I press a heart on her cheek to seal our promise. Then she does mine just the same. We say, patata! When mommy takes a photo, we do our secret handshake one more time and then Evelyn hugs me hard. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away, so she won't be right here anymore. Mama says not to be sad that we both will make new friends. But when Evelyn waves one last time, the sticker's still on her cheek. I know she will always be my first Miura Mi Amiga, my numero uno best friend. The one, the one I, I will, will always know, know by, by heart. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bum. Ba -la 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 -la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like subscribe and right before your eyes you can watch it over again and again i thank you for tuning in to a very special read aloud i hope that this book has allowed you to realize that feelings are very natural and it happens so much if you have a best friend you hold them nice tightly and let them know that you care until next time my dear so long.